Hey guys, hey guys, it's your girl Kayla B. You know me, I'm good morning. So I'm making a, brick, a bacon, egg, and cheese today. And that's what we're doing. <clears throat> My mom is coming over, so I'm making her a bacon, egg, and cheese because we're going to go to this nursing home. So that's what I'm doing this morning. And how I make my birth bacon, egg, and cheese is first I do the bacon. Bacon is all done. <sighs> it looks a little burnt, but it's okay because, you know, I don't use, like, the full bacon strip. No, I like to, like, break it apart. So have that crunch. And then I butter up a pan and put the bread on it. Potato bread, of course. And then I pop it into the oven that's already preheated and I let that toast Cheers. because I don't have a, a, a toaster I don't believe in toasters I believe in oven oven was the original toaster before the toaster even was evolved so um invented so yeah so for eggs this is a regular standard egg mixture we have large eggs i do four for two sandwiches i use brown eggs you could use you know regular eggs um quail eggs whatever eggs you want so you can use whatever eggs you want i i use brown eggs and then i use milk little dash of milk as you can see in the mixture this is um two percent is it two percent um, yeah, it's two percent. Usually, it's two percent or whole, or sometimes I use um, carnation milk. It depends on the day, and then some pepper, some black pepper. I mean, sometimes I use black pepper. Sometimes I use garlic pepper. Again, it depends on the day. And then you beat up your mixture until it turns into this like nice creamy yellow, and it doesn't look like it's separated. And while I'm doing this. Well, before I did this, I put butter in the pan, so it's coating the whole pan right now while I'm doing this. And you want to go like this motion, not this, not stirring it. You want to go like this. You want to beat it up and have it at, a, at an angle. Okay, well now it's ready to pour in. Yes, pour that in. Now I have two different types of cheeses. I have the Bordeaux cheese for the eggs was in the thing. This is shredded cheese. And then I have this. This is for the toast. You're gonna see it in a minute. This is just some um, cheese that I put in the refrigerator. I chopped it up yesterday. It's some um, aged cheddar with some white cheddar with some yellow mild cheddar. So let's check on the toast okay the toast is out before i put the cheese on the toast i'm gonna put the cheese the shredded cheese in the eggs plop that in there by the way if you're lactose intolerant this is obviously not for you i like a lot of cheese i like a lot of egg i like a lot of dairy but i will do one without cheese and dairy that I would add like other stuff like onions and peppers, but if you want me to leave a comment down below in the description box This is where you put the top cheese on the bread Put some more butter on the bread and then you put it back in the oven The reason why I'm making this bacon egg and cheese is because my mom usually likes my bacon egg and cheeses She's like, oh my gosh, I can't believe you make this like I think she says that with everything that I make because you know she's so surprised that I know how to cook because she didn't teach me like TV shows and like watching other people taught me and me tasting and me seeing what I like she's like she's now teaching me her recipes like her lasagna recipe and her roast recipe and the way that she makes soups I make soup different but like I always want her homemade soup because her homemade soup is so much, oh, so much better than me mine so it's like now she's teaching me my stuff like like her stuff but like when I was younger and I everybody was like, Oh, I like Kayla's food, I like the way that she cooks. Yeah, that was all me. That was that was me. That was not my mom. My mom didn't teach me nothing. So that's why I think every time I make stuff and that's the reason why I had to make the whole like Christmas feast is because um she she's still always surprised that I actually know how to cook. Because she didn't teach me nothing. So I think she's just being polite, but I don't know. I like my bacon egg and cheeses. I 
like I'm better than store bought shit. <laughs> Sometimes I'm mean, like, because I have a particular like way that I like my stuff, I like potato bread. I don't like rolls, or I like um plain bagels. That's the reason why I always get my bacon and cheese on a bagel because I like something soft. And then I like the 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 bacon and cheese i like the bacon but i want bacon all out throughout i don't want just like three strips of bacon just regular strips or bacon put in with the eggs i want it sprinkled on top like and i want a lot of egg i love eggs i want a lot of egg i want a lot of cheese i just don't want like one layer of cheese i guess certain certain stuff that just no no Okay, now two of the toast is out the oven. And we have our bacon right here. And what I like to do is like I just like to break apart the bacon. Yeah, just break it apart. Don't be shy. So you always have your eggs on low heat. This is how the bacon is supposed to do. So basically the eggs are cooking right now. So the eggs are still cooking while i'm doing all this stuff that's why you do the bacon first i mean you can do the eggs first but then there's like a lot of cleaning in between i usually like to let the, like save the cleaning for last so like right now i'm just gonna check on the toast with the cheese and then i'm gonna start cleaning whatever is in my sink you know, clean in the middle too. Clean in the middle. We are very hygiene and headache. Like, uh, I don't know why I just did that, but you know, okay. Okay, the eggs are now done. Do I know the timing of everything? Oh, I got a double chin. Not good. Do I know the timing of everything? No. Because, like, I'd be in the kitchen and I don't really use a timer. I just use eyes. Like, watch. Like, when you're in the kitchen and cook it, you watch it. So yeah, so the eggs are done. The front stuff is like the cheese and stuff. I like my cheese to be like extra crispy. I don't know why. I just do. I just do it. Again, personal preference. But you see how those eggs are just glistening. I just love the glistening. That just means it's so moist. Sorry if you not like that word, but that's what it is. Okay, you put the eggs on top of the bacon now let's take out our toast Ooh. oven 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 look at that it's just cheesy goodness cheesy goodness on my bacon and juice you don't need salt because with all the cheese, that's the salt right there. And then you don't need ketchup, mayo. I don't want to stop my people put ketchup on eggs. If eggs are moist, eggs don't need ketchup. And I just like squish them, squish it together. Look at all the butter on my hand. Again, you wash your hands through all the stuff. All the stuff again, hygiene. Mm, I'm so so good. All right, here's the food shop. Like, oh, amazing! I had to cut it open for you guys. Look at the layers. Look at the moisture. Sorry if you don't like that word. I don't know what other word to use. Look at the cheesiness. It's just so good. Well, that's how I make my bacon and cheese. Let me know how you make your bacon and cheese. Starting a challenge. Oh, that's so good. I love cheese. I love cheese. I love cheese. Anyways, that's it for this video. I hope you guys like this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of me making stuff, let me know. Because, like, I like cooking for myself. Not for other people, but for myself. So, like, if you want to see that, why not? If you want to see other videos, there's a video right here. Video right here. If you want to subscribe, subscribe right there. Deuces. Have a good day.